All right, so it's been five hours and 35 minutes and our fridge has consumed uh, 466 watt hours of uh, energy. So 0 0.46 kilowatt hours of uh, energy. So, and that's uh, almost exactly 40% uh, of our battery's uh, capacity. Hey guys, so how long can a 100 amp hour battery run a refrigerator? So to give you some perspective, this uh, refrigerator here has a storing capacity of uh, 7 cubic feet, which is around 200 liters. So uh, I've already uh, measured uh, the uh, energy consumption of this fridge using my electricity monitor. Here and made a video about that which you, you will find linked in the description below and it turns out that uh, this fridge is not so energy efficient but let's uh, do our test anyway all right so uh, this is a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery which means that it can store up to uh, 1200 watt hours or 1.2 kilowatt hours of uh, energy but this is a sealed lead acid battery uh, with a recommended depth of discharge or DOD of 50% which means that I should not or it's not recommended that I go uh, I go below a state of charge of 50% on uh, this battery so in other words I will only have access to about 600 watt hours of energy from my battery now uh, the battery will be running the fridge uh, through an inverter and uh, inverters are not 100% efficient uh, for example uh, according to the manufacturer this inverter is only about 90% efficient which means that if I do take uh, 600 watt hours of energy from my battery the refrigerator will only have made use of about 90 percent of that which is about uh, 540 watt hours of energy now what i'm going to do is i will use an electricity monitor i will plug it into my inverter and plug my fridge into it and I will keep checking the energy consumption of the fridge once it reaches 540 watt hours I will then disconnect my fridge and uh, battery this should make sure that I don't go below the recommended 50% uh, state uh, of charge now if I had a lithium battery I wouldn't really have to worry about that I would just leave uh, the battery until it's fully uh, discharged and until the uh, low voltage disconnect on the inverter does its job and I would pretty much get uh, double the energy and uh, double the runtime. Now uh, let's just wire everything together and plug in our refrigerator. Alright guys so it's been an hour and uh, 14 minutes and our uh, refrigerator has consumed uh, 105 watt hours which is 0.1 kilowatt hours so uh, this means that the refrigerator will probably uh, be able to run for about six hours on 50% uh, of this uh, battery but let's just uh, keep this test going and see how long uh, it can actually last on our 50% of capacity all right guys so it's been six hours and 42 minutes and uh, my fridge has consumed 571 watt hours of energy which is 0 0.57 kilowatt hours of energy as mentioned before accounting for the losses generated by the inverter about 10 percent this will amount to about uh, 600 something watt hours of energy which is 50 percent of the uh, energy capacity on my battery now uh, if i wanted to i could still uh, run this fridge for uh, about uh, for double the this runtime so uh, about 13 hours or even 14 hours total but since uh, this is a, a lead acid battery 
uh, I don't want to shorten its lifespan so I'm going to uh, disconnect it right now so it doesn't go below 50% state of charge. So to give you some more perspective uh, our 7 cubic feet refrigerator is not very efficient in terms of energy consumption. If it was uh, energy efficient it, it would probably consume uh, about 30% less energy which means that we would get about 30% uh, more runtime. So our 6 hours and 40 minutes of runtime uh, would be extended to up to 10 hours uh, of runtime. And that's only on 50% on this battery's uh, capacity. Now, the only reason I'm limiting myself to 50% of this battery's capacity is to extend its lifespan, or more precisely to maximize the charge discharge cycles that I would get out of it. But if you have a, a gel battery like this one uh, of the same size uh, and you're only using it as an emergency backup for when the power goes down, you don't really have to worry about that as these are deep cycle batteries and uh, even if you uh, repetitively discharge, fully discharge them, you could still get 200 to 300 uh, cycles out of uh, these batteries. At, by limiting myself to only 50% of the battery's capacity, I expect uh, 800 to 900, uh, 900 uh, cycles out of it. Also, if you have a lithium battery like a uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, battery, you also don't need uh, to worry about uh, cycles because uh, those batteries are uh, designed to be fully discharged and will still last thousands of uh, cycles. All in all, this uh, test was just uh, uh, to provide some perspective on how long a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery uh, could run your uh, fridge. But the actual runtime that you would get out of these, uh, one of these batteries will mainly depend on the size of your fridge and its energy uh, efficiency. If you uh, want some uh, estimates, uh, I wrote a detailed blog post uh, linked in the description below where I compare different size refrigerators, their power usage, their energy consumption and their potential runtime on these batteries. So make sure to check that out. It's in the description below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.